Do that thing? Yep. Okay. Right, so, hi everyone, I'm Jazz, and that's not going to the next slide. Okay. Um, I'm from Cornwall in the UK. I've been a web developer for eight years. I build Joomla websites and I also work with businesses to create data analysis platforms. Uh, I've been volunteering in JED for three years or so now and I'm the JED team lead. So I hope that I can help you in choosing the right extension. <clears throat> so everybody's got their favourites when it comes to extensions, but when you've got a new requirement that you need to fulfil and the choice isn't obvious, what resources are available to help you match those requirements and get the job done? <clears throat> Jed has nearly 8,000 extensions and we've all selected the wrong one before. Uh, but Jed has a number of resources that can help you to make the right choice. So, like I said, we've all selected the wrong extension before. It didn't match the description, it didn't fulfil your requirements, it didn't look too pretty, difficult to configure, the support was poor, the list goes on. So finding the right extension is all about knowing your requirements and using the resources available to you to help you make the right choice. So what functionality do you require? Do you need it to do X or Y? <clears throat> do you need support? And if you do need support, if it's paid for, can you afford that cost? And can your client afford that ongoing cost as well? So it's very important to stay up to date and updates often come with the support package. Extension type, you're going to need to know what extension you need, whether that's a component, module or plugin. And of course your budget is a contributing factor as well. So the first place to start is search on Jed. We've got a good search that lets you search by keywords, the name of an extension, but also some advanced options that will let you search by extension type, the compatibility, the category, whether it's free or paid, Lots of different options to help you narrow down your result set to help you find the extension that is suited to your requirements. But you can also browse by the categories on JED. Categories organise extensions into groups and subgroups of functionality. It allows you to browse a little bit more freely through the extensions. <clears throat> and it's also great for if you don't know the right word or right name for an extension. So I might call an image slideshow, an image rotator, but the developer might refer to it as an image carousel. So it's really handy just being able to browse through freely without the restrictions of keywords. And you can also browse by ratings and reviews. Uh, on the top menu, we've got a few different options. Top rated and most viewed, most viewed allow you to search through extensions that have been rated by the community. So these extensions have been tried over and over at times and many people have said, we know this extension works, I successfully used it in my Joomla site. So if you want to be on the more secure and reliable side of things, this is where you might go to have a look. And the last option, new extensions. So this is newly uploaded extensions to the directory. Uh, it's a good place to look if you've been looking for an extension for a while and you haven't been able to find it. So, has somebody released that particular extension recently? This is a good place to look. <clears throat> so, the extension detail pages. Also, you're going to look at the descriptions and have a read down through and see if it matches your requirements. Does it do X, Y, or Z? <clears throat> but also, on the page, you can find the developer details, the version details, extension type, reviews, and a few quick links. So have an explore around and get to know the extension better. So extension types. Uh, components you can think of as a mini extension. Uh, they are going to provide the main body of a page, so the main functionality of the page. So that might be an event calendar or an online shop. <clears throat> 
Um, modules are lightweight and flexible extensions. They're often referred to as the boxes around the main body of the, of the page. So this might be a Twitter feed or a latest news feed, something that offers a little bit smaller functionality than a component. And then we've got plugins. So plugins are event handlers and they often provide communication between different parts of your website. So whether that's between Joomla Core or another extension. An example is when you get a user sign up to your website, you're going to get an email telling you about that. And then we've also got packages. So that's a combination of all of the above by the same developer to solve a bigger problem. And finally, extension specific extensions. So this is the extension add-on as such that provides extra functionality to an already existing extension. A common example is a payment gateway. Okay, so all extensions released um, on the JED are under the GPL version 3 license and it provides a number of freedoms to the users. So users can view it, use it, change it and share it. So that means that you've got the ability to view the source code, use it on as many installations as you need to change the source code to suit your requirements and also to share it. <clears throat> But it's a matter of liberty, not price. GPL means free as in free speech, not as in free beer. So free versus paid, this is often something that users will immediately filter their results by, either because their budget doesn't allow them to source paid extensions, or they just want to disregard free extensions altogether. But the choice isn't quite as clear cut as that. You can get some free extensions that are fantastic and some paid extensions that are not so. <clears throat> so when you're looking at the two, don't think about your budget. Think about other things such as the quality. Again, does it fulfill the job you need it to do? And the functionality, does it provide functionality that you need for your admin and for your users? And again, support. Is there support, support available if you need it? So all extensions obviously have had a number of releases over their lifetime. Um, each release is a cycle of development that might offer a new feature or a bug fix. And listed on the developer's website, you'll very often find change logs. So this is a chronological list of things that have been added to the extension over time. So you can look back through and see what particular feature was added when. Is it a new feature and it might still have some bugs in it? Or is it a feature that's been there for a few releases now so it's nice and stable? Documentation is a fantastic resource that shouldn't be ignored. <clears throat> when you're looking for an extension, you can read through the documentation to help you research properly into the features that you're looking for. Yeah, you might have read about feature A in the description, but go and have a look at the documentation as well. It will give you a much more detailed breakdown of that function and the different options you can set along with it. And after you've downloaded the extension, go back to the documentation and have a read through. It's going to give you some tips and advice on how to set it up properly for your needs. And you should probably look here first before you use any other support methods because the developer is probably going to point you back here anyway. But if you do need support, uh, it often comes with updates as a package. So you need to be sure that if a subscription is required, can your budget account for that? And going forward, can your client's budget account for that? So if it's a 12 monthly subscription, are they going to want to renew that in 12 months time? It can take many forms, email, forums, tickets, etc. <clears throat> And updates are something that is very important as well. If a new release has been published by the developer, fixing a bug, you obviously want to get that update installed as soon as possible. And JED now lists whether an extension supports update servers. So you'll see this just beside the download button. 
And basically what it means is if you have 10 or so extensions installed on your website, it means that you don't need to go to each developer's website to see if a new release has been published. If you go into the extension manager, Joomla will tell you there and then, and you can install them quickly and easily. So you also want to know the developer as well as the extension. Take a look at their blogs or the latest news of their website. What have they been posting about recently? Are they going to release a new feature that you've been waiting on? Are they wanting feedback on something? They also might list whether they've had to release a security update to their extension. If they did, was it something that they spoke about openly and freely? Or were they trying to brush it under the carpet a little bit? Social media links are also an interesting thing to go and have a look at. Um, go and find the developer's account on Twitter or Facebook or any other social media and have a read back through their tweets and see how they behave. They might use different language when they're outside of the comfort zone of their website, so this will help you get to know them a little bit more. Another thing to look at is the design of the developer's website as well. Is it clean and intuitive? If it is, chances are that the back end and control panels of their component will also follow in that same way. And have a look at the other extensions that they offer as well. You might find something else that they've released to help you fulfill another area of your requirements. Jed reviews and scores. Uh, this is often a big thing that you hear everybody discussing, there's some controversy, um, but it is a good place to look because it's user submitted feedback to the developer, but it's also public. So it means that you can read about user experiences, their satisfaction levels, you can see if they've had any problems with any of the features of an extension. Do you need to use that feature? Might you encounter that same problem? You're also going to see some examples of how they've used the extension. That can be interesting to know more about its functionalities. And another area of the reviews that is commonly overlooked are the developers' replies. <clears throat> it's worth looking down through these to see how the developer responds to negative feedback. If you have a problem, you want to be sure that the developer is going to work with you to resolve your issue. Extension demos. So this might be the button that you're tempted to click on first, but I recommend that you go through the previous steps before you get to this point. Demos can range from screenshots of the control panels to fully live installations that let you configure the different options and test how the output comes from those. So it gives you a chance to try it before you buy it. And it gives you a really good way of checking against your requirements. So if you read an extension description and you wanted one of their features, you can go into their live demo and try out that feature before you buy the extension. <clears throat> and if you're trying to make a choice between two or more different extensions, the extension demo can help you compare those more accurately in more detail. Extension-specific extensions, um, they're often useful if you want to add additional functionality to an extension that you already have installed within your Joomla website. So they often provide extra features such as display of content, additional payment gateways, and integration between two different extensions. So if you have an online shop and the payment gateways include PayPal and you want to add in WorldPay, go and have a look at the developer's website, they might offer an extension specific download to solve that problem. So now you've looked through all of that, you need to really evaluate whether or not it meets your requirements. So do the back end and front end views allow your admins and your users to achieve the tasks that they need to be able to achieve? Will it run within your Joomla setup? Are they going to face any compatibility issues? Support. If you need support, is it available and in what forms is it available? And if it requires a subscription, can your budget allow for that? 
So the reviews, are they satisfactory Do you? Satisfactory for you? Anything that you need to look a little bit closer into? Responsiveness and speed is something that is becoming even more important. 50% of browsing is now done on a mobile device. So have a look at the extensions demo. Does it adapt to those smaller screen sizes? Does it run fast? And you should also open up your browser console on the extension demo as well. Does it highlight any errors that you might need to be aware of or bring to the developer's attention to get fixed? And if you are a developer, you might also want to look at the code quality of the extension itself to check that it follows the proper Joomla standards. And something else that is also becoming more and more important is the compatibility with PHP 7. So you finally got there, so go ahead and click that download button, install and start configuring your new extension. But what if the extension you've chosen isn't exactly suited to your requirements? What if it's 95% there but it doesn't do this one little thing to complete your setup? But you shouldn't give up, carry on researching and select the closest match you've still got a few options available to you. You can fill the gap with another extension. You can contact the developer. They might be able to offer you an additional add-on or they might work with you to implement a new feature into their extension. You could also hire a developer, ask them to give you a quote for that missing functionality. And you can also create overrides. But a word of caution here, you should know your limitations. This is where things can get complicated. So have a backup plan in place just in case something goes a little bit wrong. <clears throat> so to round things off, we've all chosen the wrong extension before, but don't be put off. Keep on researching, keep on trying and experimenting. And Joomla has a fantastic community, so take advantage of that. Ask your question on the Facebook groups, on the forums, to see if anybody else has had to solve a need that's similar to yours. And of course, where possible, you should give back to the community. If somebody's asking a question and you know the answer to it, and you found a suitable extension, tell them about it. And finally, extension developers devote hours and hours of time into the support, maintenance and updates of their extensions. So you should support them by buying the pro version submitting a review on JED. And be objective here, reviews are meant to help others, just as they've helped you in picking this extension. Share on social media. But finally, don't forget to say thank you. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs>